Hi, I'm Chris Downs, a writer for Microsoft Access. If you find yourself adding the same objects to many of the databases you create, you can save the objects as an application part, and then just add the application part the next time you need those objects. An application part can contain all types of access objects, such as tables, forms, queries, or macros. The tables in an application part can even contain data. Access 2010 comes with some professionally created application parts that are ready to use. For example, here I have a small database that I use to track tasks that my team is working on. I'm going to add the contacts application part so I can store data about my teammates and, more importantly, assign tasks to them. On the Create tab in the Application Parts gallery, I'll click Contacts. This dialog box lets me specify how the new contacts records will relate to the existing task records. In my case, I want to be able to assign more than one task to each person on the team. So for one contact, there can be many tasks. I'll click that option and then click Next. This will add a lookup field to the Tasks table so that for each task I can choose a person to assign it to. In this page of the dialog box, I can set up how that lookup field works. I want the lookup field to display the name of the person. I've used this application part before, so I know that the File As field contains the full name of the contact, last name first. So I'll select that as the display value for my lookup field. And I'll sort it ascending. Since I'll be using this field to assign the task to a person, I'll name it Assigned To and I'll click Create. The Contacts application part adds a number of objects to my database. If I decide I don't need all of these objects, I can delete the ones I don't need. For now, let's just open the Contacts table and enter a few names. Now I'll open my Tasks table. Here's my new Assigned To field, ready to use. I'll assign a few tasks to my teammates. And now I'll close the task table and open the tasks datasheet form that was part of my original database. You can see that the new assigned to field was not automatically added to the form. That's something I have to do manually. It's easy to do though. Just click Add Existing Fields on the datasheet tab, drag the assigned to field to the form, and save it. I'll need to do the same for the task details form. I'll open it in layout view and insert some empty rows below the status field. Now I'll drag the Assign To field to the form. As you can see, Access doesn't always put things where you drop them. If this happens to you, just press Ctrl-Z or click the Undo button to back up. Now I'm going to try again, but this time I'll hold down the Control key while I drag the Assign To field to the form. Holding down the control key keeps access from adding a label to the field, and that helps keep those new rows and columns from being added to the layout and can make things a lot easier. And then I'll just type a label on the line above the new field so it looks like the other fields. I'll save the form, and now it's ready to use with the new field. Now I can explore the other contact-related objects that were added by the application part. Since these objects are now part of my database, I can modify them as needed, or even delete them if I don't need them. If you want to try creating your own application parts and learn about data type parts, check out this post on the Access blog.